Jota, Millie Mass, Ronnie Rock, Vicky Boyce, Susie Spells, Peter Plant, and Active. We're the Super Geek Heroes! Having fun, in turn, with a mission to learn! This is what we're going to learn about today. Hi everyone, my name is Millie Max and it's my turn. I'm a super geek hero on a mission to learn. My superpowers help me to learn about mathematics. Today we are going to learn about addition and subtraction. I'm riding on my super space hopper to have fun when learning about adding and subtracting numbers. First, we're going to learn three new mathematical symbols. Let's see what symbol we use when adding numbers together. Plus. This is called a plus symbol. Now let's see what symbol we use when subtracting numbers. Minus. This is called a minus symbol. Here's another special symbol we need to know about. Equals. This is called an equal symbol. In a moment, you'll see the equal symbol used when we start adding and subtracting numbers. Before we do that, let's have another quick look at the three new symbols we have just learned about. Plus, minus, equals. And let's remind ourselves about numbers from 1 to 10. By counting them. OK, let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Did you count the numbers with me? Well done! It's fun to practice counting numbers from 1 to 10. Shall we start using some of these numbers with the three new symbols we have learned? Great! Let's look at some examples of mathematical equations. Super Geek Heroes! OK. We're ready to start the first equation. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Did you see that? We added 1 and 1 together and used the equal symbol to show the answer. 2. Let's look at another equation. 4 minus 1 equals 3. Did you see that? We subtracted 1 from 4 and used the equal symbol to show the answer. 3. You're doing really well. Shall we look at another equation? Brilliant! Let's go! 3 plus 2 equals 5 Did you see that? We added 3 and 2 together and used the equal symbol to show the answer 5 Let's look at another equation 4 minus 3 equals 1 Did you see that? We subtracted 3 from 4 and used the equal symbol to show the answer 1 Did you enjoy learning about adding and subtracting numbers? Fantastic! Well done! 
Now you can have lots of fun using different numbers and symbols to make your own equations. Millie Mass is my name. I'm a super geek hero. Mission accomplished. Now it's time to go. Super Geek Heroes. This is what we're going to learn about today. Hi everyone, my name is Millie Mass and it's my turn. I'm a super geek hero on a mission to learn. My superpowers help me to learn about mathematics. Today, we're going to learn about numbers and how to tell the time. Yay! We're going to use a clock to tell the time. This is a clock face. Wait! Something is missing. That's better. Now we can start telling the time. Let's begin by counting the numbers around the clock face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The clock has twelve numbers and these are the hours in a day. This is fun! Are you having fun? Great! Let's keep going! There are two hands on the clock. A minute hand and an hour hand. The minute hand is pointing to number 12. And the hour hand is pointing to number 1. This means the time is 1 o'clock. Can you say 1 o'clock? That's right! 1 o'clock! Let's see what happens when the minute hand moves around the clock to number 12 again. Did you see that? The hour hand moved as well. It's now pointing to number 2. This means the time is 2 o'clock. Can you say 2 o'clock? That's right, two o'clock. Shall we see what happens when the minute hand moves around the clock face again? Great, let's go. Super Geek Heroes. We're on a fun field mission to learn. And you're doing just great. The hour hand has moved again. Now it's pointing to number 3 and the minute hand is pointing to number 12. This means the time is 3 o'clock. Can you say 3 o'clock? That's right, 3 o'clock. That was fun. Shall we complete all the numbers on the clock? Great! Let's go! The minute hand is pointing to number 12. The hour hand is pointing to number 4. This means the time is 4 o'clock. Can you say 4 o'clock? That's right! 4 o'clock! The hour hand is pointing to number 5. This means the time is five o'clock. Can you say five o'clock? That's right, five o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to number six. This means the time is six o'clock. Can you say six o'clock? That's right, six o'clock. 
The hour hand is pointing to number 7. This means the time is 7 o'clock. Can you say 7 o'clock? That's right! 7 o'clock! You're doing really well! Are you enjoying learning to tell the time? Brilliant! Let's continue with our mission! Super Geek Heroes! This is exciting and there's so much more to see! The hour hand is pointing to number 8. This means the time is 8 o'clock. Can you say 8 o'clock? That's right! 8 o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to number 9. This means the time is 9 o'clock. Can you say 9 o'clock? That's right! 9 o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to number 10. This means the time is 10 o'clock. Can you say 10 o'clock? That's right! 10 o'clock. The hour hand is pointing to number 11. This means the time is 11 o'clock. Can you say 11 o'clock? That's right! 11 o'clock. The hour hand is also pointing to number 12. This means the time is 12 o'clock. Can you say 12 o'clock? That's right! 12 o'clock! That was fun! Yay! I hope you enjoyed learning about numbers and telling the time. Millie Maths is my name. I'm a super geek hero. Mission accomplished. Now it's time to go. Super 